What laptop can you buy for £50? A HP Stream from 2015? A dusty Chromebook that can barely run YouTube? Or this? The Lenovo ThinkPad X260 I bought for only £45 with the charger included. And get this, it comes with an i7, 16GB of RAM, a fairly sized SSD, and Windows. Yes, that is a plus. Let's take a deep dive into the small Ultrabook and see how good of a deal this really is. The ThinkPad X260 is a small ultrabook released way back in 2016 for those who wanted something ultra portable but bolstering great performance. Mine came in nicely packed with a lot of bubble wrap, and I mean a lot. Honestly, I probably got my money's worth by the amount they wrapped this thing in. With all of that unraveled, you get the laptop, and yes, it comes complete with a 65 watt slim tip charger which is quite compact. It came in pretty good condition with no cracks or major scuffs to account of. But one thing I did notice was a small chip on the top lid. This really didn't bother me as it's away from sight at most times. Opening up the ThinkPad, you get a very compact layout for such a small laptop with everything positioned precisely. What I'm impressed with, and for the price too, is you get a backlit keyboard and a fingerprint sensor. Did I mention this only costs £45? Anyways, let's hook this thing up and see what it can do. The laptop boots straight away and into the BIOS we can see the specs more in detail. In it we have an i7-6600U and 16GB of DDR4 RAM. The laptop came with Windows 10 and already set up which was nice, but I'd recommend formatting the disk and reinstalling Windows as a precautionary measure. Into Windows my first thought was, damn this screen looked pretty good. Keep in mind this came with a 768p screen, so what I suspected was it probably came with an upgraded IPS screen, which is miles better than a sucky TN. If you use TN, you'd understand how awful they can be. This laptop is getting better by the second. Guess I said that too soon, cause one flaw with this laptop is the right click is not functional. Still, everything works as intended and I can still use the trackpad buttons, but I would probably replace this down the line. Into Task Manager, here we can see the mighty i7-6600U is 16GB running at 2133MHz. This CPU can only support up to that speed, so there's no need trying to change it. We also get an Intel 180GB SSD, most likely being SATA based, which is fine. Browsing the web is nice and fluid thanks to the RAM. I didn't experience much in slowdowns when doing normal tasks. The ThinkPad keyboard is as good as ever with nice travel and tactility with every keystroke. The fact they managed to cram such a good keyboard on a form factor as small as this is very impressive. Since this is an IPS panel, videos look great and colours are vibrant. More on the screen, the X260 features a 12.5 inch screen which is almost unheard of on a laptop today. They come in 1366x768 or 1920x1080p panels, either in TN or IPS. We got quite lucky with this one as it's an IPS panel, but the resolution is quite low. Or is it? You might think a 768p panel is terrible, but on such a small screen it really isn't that bad. A 768p 12.5 inch screen has a PPI of 125.4, which compared to a more common screen resolution like 4040p on a 27 inch panel, comes out at 108.8. So yes, a 1080p panel would have been nice, but for such a small screen it really doesn't matter that much, so long as colours look good. Since the X260 has an external and internal battery, you get some decent battery life figures. With around 70% battery life on idle with battery saver yields a 9 hour runtime according to Windows. Expect a bit more when the battery is fully charged. In normal use such as web browsing or watching videos, it should do around 5-7 to seven hours which is still great. The small low res screen and low TDP CPU also helps on longevity. Both batteries were in good condition for their age with battery 1 having 98 cycles and battery 2 the external one having 232, so this shows it was wasn't really used all that much, which makes this deal even better. Just as I was finishing the segment of the video, the laptop started to lag like crazy. I restarted it and after a few minutes it came back, then shut down randomly. This was quite strange as it was working flawlessly for the last 30 minutes. Anyways, I originally thought it was a corrupt OS so I went to format it and reinstall Windows. And as I did that, an error message stating the disk was faulty and Windows can't be installed on it. Now, it's good that it warned me beforehand, but now I was left without an SSD, so I decided to contact the seller. We had some back and forths, but finally they settled it by sending me a replacement free of charge. Now, that's what I expect from a reputable seller. I mean, I kinda expected it seeing their clean track record. This was probably overlooked before they sent it out to me, as initial observations were good. Anyways, after a few days, the new drive arrived and we can rip out that faulty one. Let's open the X260 to get it back on. 
Alright, time to delve deeper into the X260. Taking out the back panel, we agreed with the X260's internals, all nicely laid out. Let's take out the SSD, RAM and carefully disconnect that internal battery. Whilst we're at it, let's replace the faulty trackpad. This is actually quite easy compared to most ThinkPads where you have to take out the motherboard. For this, all that needs to be removed is the battery. A few screws later, we greeted to the back of the trackpad, unscrewing it and carefully removing the ribbon cable connecting to it. Pop out the old one and in with the new. Oh, and the faulty SSD. Let's put the replacement back in. We might as well clean out any dust and replace the thermal paste for better results later on and to limit any thermal throttling. With everything in order, let's reinstall Windows and do some further testing. There was already Windows pre-installed onto the drive so I made sure everything was working as usual. The newly installed trackpad worked fine. All buttons register and click. I did a clean install on Windows anyways and after a few minutes and countless annoying settings later, we got Windows. Now all that's left is installing the required drivers and download any software I need to benchmark this laptop. Let's start with some Cinebench results. I'll be honest, this did take quite a while to complete. At the end we got a score of 99 which is what I expected to be honest. The CPU was once one of the best for lightweight ultra portable laptops and obviously prioritised battery life over performance, so getting high numbers even back then was hit or miss. Still, it's quite respectable compared to other chips I've tested of this era. In Heaven Benchmark on Medium, I wanted to test the iGPU's raw performance and it surprised me somewhat, averaging around 20 FPS with frequent jumps to 30. Remember, these aren't dedicated graphics, so the fact they even launched and didn't crash was good enough for me. There wasn't many games I wanted to test since this ThinkPad wasn't intended for gaming, but I threw Minecraft at it just to see if it could handle it. Surprisingly yes, at first there were major stutters but lowering a few settings gave me a comfortable playing experience. I guess if you wanted to play games like Minecraft or other less intensive games like it, it should do just fine. Just don't expect to play Fortnite on high on this thing. Overall, I'm quite pleased with the X260, especially for the price. For less than £50, I got a fully functioning laptop, which I'd say is quite mad. Yes, it's a bit on the older side, but still very much usable for basic tasks. The small form factor of the X260 is honestly great, being able to take it anywhere with ease. My only issue I faced was the faulty SSD, but that was quickly rectified. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give it a like, subscribe and turn on notifications for more. What do you think about this deal of a deal? I'll be replying to you all. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.